Well, this is an, um, an ongoing um, mini project about um, automatic professor tracking. Um, we uh, start looking at, at this technology when uh, we, um, we were looking for a solution to, um, to publish um, Matterhorn dual stream recordings, uh, dual stream uh, lecture recording from Matterhorn on traditional single stream uh, channels like YouTube, like iTunes U, in, and in, um, in mobile devices that are not connected uh, to the internet in, in the moment that the student want to, to watch the, the recording. Uh, first approaches uh, to publish lecture rec uh, Matterhorn recordings to iTunes U and, and, and YouTube could be just to choose. You can choose was uh, just one of the uh, streams. You can keep BGA plus audio, or you can keep professor plus audio. But uh, so um, if we do that, why we are uh, recording both of, of the streams? Another approach, trying to keep both of them is uh, composition, a uh, picture-in-picture composition, or the two approaches that we are exploring. The first one that we call static side-by-side, -side, just to glue together the two recordings and, and paste also some branding um, on, on, on that layout. And the other one is uh, what we call dynamic side-by-side. -side. Uh, that's what for we use. Uh, professor tracking. We keep just a, sm a smaller part of the layout for the professor, but to give a good user uh, experience, we must track the um, the professor. This is the first approach. Let's see if plays uh, some branding there and. This is um, what we call a static, uh, static um, side by side. Uh, it uh, works more or less well for um, big screen computers, and we are also using it for um, for iPads. Uh, in in our site, when uh, the the yeah. The system uh, detects that you are browsing with an iPad. It will automatically change from the engaged player to this uh, single player with side-by-side -side layout. It uh, also works uh, more or less well uh, on, on YouTube. We are, during this semester pilot, we publish it around, uh, well, not all the recordings, but a good amount of them on, on our YouTube our YouTube uh, channel. You can you can try and watch some of them there. And but this static side by side uh, layout really is a waste of space, waste of, of screen area. It's okay, as I said, it's okay for YouTube or for iTunes uh, on laptops. It's okay for iPad too, but it's really usable for um, for smartphones even with for. Uh, Inch screens and so, and uh, the solution. I will show you first the, out the outcome, and then I will try to explain. Is something like this. Uh, here, the system is tracking professor face, and keeping his uh, image, his body, trying to keep uh, in a good um, size while keeping um, most of the screen for the, um, for the presentation. Um, that's it. The uh, user experience on a smartphone is acceptable. Um, if the professor uh, uses a, a, a good uh, not too small font, it, it can uh, be read easily. Um, so how does uh, Gallicaster work, Gallic Tracker work? 
is based on first first piece is a face tracking algorithm. Uh, it identifies the face of the professor. Um, it, it's tracking the face. It, this algorithm comes from a research group of uh, University of Vigo. It's mainly used for um, face recognition of uh, security images, but we are here using only the tracking, uh, the face tracking algorithms. It's even capable of uh, knowing uh, or uh, knowing uh, where is the people aiming when when you look uh, straight to, to the camera. And using the information from from this algorithm, we develop an another module that's an auto cameraman module that try to uh, replicate to mimic what a human uh, camera operator will do uh, with um, well following some composition rules and, and some good practices rules. Um, than to, 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 to compose a, a shot. Uh, I must say that the original, on the left hand, you have the original uh, image. is a high definition image with a non-moving uh, camera. And all the moving, uh, all the, the track, uh, the, the pan and zoom is done afterwards. Uh, and it's not destructive. If you don't like it, you can perform another uh, post-processing. And uh, as soon as you have the um, video from tracker, track it from, from the professor uh, presenter uh, flavor, uh, just um, another model, glue it together uh, side by side. So I must say that this is currently not done uh, inside Matterhorn. We extract the, the recordings and we perform all the post-processing outside Matterhorn, but we clearly can imagine that this can be um, uh, deployed as uh, workflow operations. We clearly see a tracker operation, a side-by-side -side operation, and a branding uh, operation to put the, the previous video and, and the um, channel um, logos. And inside the tracker, we can see these two models that face tracker and, and the auto cameraman model. So as conclusions, if we see some interest in the community, we can uh, refactor these models uh, as uh, Motherhorn uh, workflow operations. Uh, the side-by-side -side model can be, can be used. The branding model can be used uh, alone too. And with the, the remote, uh, remote tracker, um, we have some issues there because uh, because of this um, algorithm is uh, it's not uh, open is uh, property of of this research group. We can use it for our local deployment, but maybe um, um, well for for demo purposes or for other purposes we we can deploy something like a remote tracker or a remote uh, operation that calls a remote algorithm, but also others can replace this, this, uh, this piece, this algorithm for, with other that, that, um, they, that they can find or they can uh, talk with these guys about the use of, of theirs. And um, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>